Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Iron Man Progress video. This is episode number 65. Got a hard clue to start off the video. Can we get anything good? Absolutely not. I uh, hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Well, that is another 50 Grotesque Guardian kills done for an elite clue. Wasn't expecting that. Uh, up to 200 kills overall now. Gonna do 50 every time I get a gargoyle task and slowly work towards the Black Tourmaline Core, which is what I would like to get from here. And I think it's a 1 in 500 drop rate, so hopefully that won't take too long. And let's see what we can get from that Elite Clue. A whole lot of nothing. Coming in with 84 runecrafting, 2 left to go, and then I'll be able to finish up the Achievement Diaries, which is pretty exciting. Realised that if I didn't do my Tears of Guthix before getting the level up, the XP would actually go on to construction so that should be 85 oh, I'm an idiot I am an idiot I am actually an idiot yeah it didn't go on rune crafting at all it went on construction because the XP is lower I am an idiot all right well wasted tears of guthix XP aside that is 85 rune crafting so gonna continue on now and go straight for 86 and uh, it'll be quite nice to get the achievement diaries finished in this episode. But yeah, once I'm done with runecrafting, I'll definitely need to get my construction up over 86 so that I'm not wasting those Tears of Guthix uh, XP drops on that skill. I think I got a 12k XP drop this week, which would have saved me just under 20 minutes of runecrafting. So it's definitely worth having the Tears of Guthix XP go on that skill. Um, just a bit unfortunate I miscalculated it this time. Alright, so this is the last level needed to complete all of the Achievement Diaries. Uh, long last, 86 runecrafting, so hopefully um, don't have too many tasks left to do. I don't think, uh, for the Falador it's pretty straightforward, I just need to get the boost for the runecrafting tasks. I think about 500 more Black Knight kills to be able to purchase the white two-handed sword. The other two are pretty straightforward, and then for Karamja, um, Pretty much just getting the plus five boost so i'll probably do that first and get that task knocked out do the other one for the cramcher and then finish up with the falador diary all right so in the end actually going to end up doing the cramcher elite diary first uh ended up going for the plus five boost for the nature runes don't even want to talk about how that went i basically didn't realize that if you drop your pouches on the floor all of the pure essence inside gets deleted and um, took me three plus five boosts to realize that, so that was a bit of a pain. But um, I'll go and pick up these rewards now and then crack on with the Falador Diary. Shouldn't take too long to get those 500 kills and then that'll be pretty straightforward to finish up as well. All right, so all in all, I think this is a pretty decent achievement diary to complete. Uh, essentially, the best thing about this will be the teleports directly to Duradel. Other than that, I guess there's the revive that you get within the fight caves. I don't really plan on dying against Jad at any point, so hopefully you don't ever have to use that. But otherwise, um, the teleport's definitely the most useful thing. And I think I'm going to continue using the lamps on Herblore. I was debating whether to put them either on runecrafting or agility, but I'll just stick with Herblore. I'm quite happy to do that. So 50k from this lamp, and then it'll be another 50k from the Falador achievement diary. There we go, that is the final ever Achievement Diary task complete. So go and pick up the rewards and then go and get the Achievement Diary cape as well. So probably the most notable reward from the Elite Falador Diary is the increased chance of getting better ores at the Motherlode Mine. I haven't done any post-85 mining training, mostly because I do all of my training at Motherlode Mine uh, for the most part, and it makes sense to have held off until I completed this diary so that I could get more runite ore basically. Um, I guess if I ever want to go for the farming pet using the tree patch in Falador now that it's disease free will save me some of the payment there. And the shield will be quite useful I guess for certain things. Um, but it's another 50k Herblor XP and let's go and get the achievement diary cape as well. Really pleased to finally knock out this cape. Uh, it's been on my list of goals since the beginning of the year and it's not actually that useful, but it's nice to have in the bank. I feel like it's probably one of the better achievement capes just because of all of the different requisites that you need to actually get it. Um, yeah, like I said, the teleports, you get 10 teleports to 
all of the different uh, diary masters but I actually don't think any of them are particularly useful other than in extremely niche cases possibly a couple of medium clue steps um, but I don't really do medium clues anyway so that's not a big deal and we'll do the obligatory skill cape emote it's not the best one but quite pleased to knock this one out at last so having now got the achievement diary cape, there's only a couple of things left on the list of goals I set for myself at the beginning of the year. Um, I did say that I wanted to max out my combat stats save for prayer. I've done that. And the achievement diary cape, I wanted to do that and get 99 slayer as well. So the other two things that I put down was base 90 stats, which I will, I guess, just chip away at for the rest of the year. And the other thing was to learn solo raids. So I guess... That's something I'm going to continue to work towards. There are a few more items that I want to get before trying to do that. Uh, namely the armadillo um, bottoms and possibly bandos as well. And then I think I should be pretty much set. So it be interesting to try and learn that. I think it's going to be a bit of a steep learning curve. But I'm quite keen to try and uh, get myself to a stage where I'm able to do deathless ohms. And you know sort of 30k point raids quite consistently. So we'll start working on that I guess. All right, picking up another Aviancy task, 203, so that will be about 40 Kriara kills. Going to have to go and collect some chins, but that won't take too long. And uh, let's see if we can get any rare drops from this task. All right, well, that is the end of the task. I'll probably try and finish up this kill and then go and get a new one. No drops, but up to, well, it'll be 183 Kriara kills overall. And um, yeah, it went pretty well. I do really enjoy these tasks. It's just the time that it takes to get all the chins, I think, that makes them feel like they drag a bit. But hopefully get another one soon. Got some clues from FK Woodcutting. What is that? Demon feet. Uh, that's one of the new beginner rewards, I guess. Looks cool, I guess. What can we get from the other clues? Uh, I've already got that. And nothing from the hard clue, as to be expected. Well, that is 250 Grotesque Guardians killed. I did my obligatory 50 kills for this task. Uh, no drops, but um, yeah, we'll come back when I get my next one. A Black Mask drop. Not had one of those in a very long time. I didn't realise they were worth one mil. I believe that's only my third one. And I've killed an awful lot of Cave Horrors. Yeah. Nearly 5,000 and it's a 1 in 512 drop rate, so could have expected nearly 10 of these by now. And I've only had 3, that's pretty ridiculous. And that is 89 woodcutting. Uh, one more left to go, and then that will unlock redwood trees, which is a very nice source of AFK. Uh, to be honest, even after I hit 90, I'll probably look to use another skill as AFK training, most likely mining, just because my goal for the year was to reach all base 90s, so it makes sense to train mining or even runecrafting, you know, before I start working on woodcutting up to 99, but there we go, one level left to go. Well, that's another Steam Battle Staff, not what I was looking for, but uh, we'll take it. I think that might be the fifth one. I will have to go and see. I honestly can't remember. Yes, it is actually the fifth Steam Battle Staff on the account. So, so far at Zam, we've got five Steam Battle Staffs. One, two, three, four Zamrakian Spears. One Staff of the Dead. And I'm not sure about Shards, so my luck there is pretty decent. I'm just waiting on the hilt. Bit of a milestone kill coming in. That is kill number 508, which is the drop rate for the Zami hilt. I'm not going to go as far as to say that now that I haven't got it on the drop rate, I'm unlucky. I think it's a little bit hard to gauge considering I've got, I think, over the drop rate on the 1 out of 127 drops, which um, which is the spears and the battle staffs. But yeah, hoping not to go too dry. I do enjoy this boss, but it's not particularly fast to kill, so it would be nice to finish off getting the hilt reasonably soon. And there we go, that's another spear. I believe that's number five now. 15 mil, they've gone up in value so much. It's really nice to get a drop like this, uh, even though it's something that I don't need just to see the bank value go up that much for a one in 127 drop. That's fantastic. I just got a spear off the last kill of the task, but it was actually a minion kill, not uh, the main boss. I don't know how rare that is, but that is, I've got a feeling it's like one in 16,000, which is pretty ridiculous. Um, but what a way to end the task, that's crazy. 
Well, that is it for today's episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. It was really satisfying to finish up the last two achievement diaries in this episode and picking up the cape. Next episode, probably, as always, continue on with Slayer. I've actually got a Drake's task. I did have them blocked for a while, but I'd actually quite like to get the attachment that you can put onto the holy sandals to make the devout boots. So we'll start the next episode off with a Drake task and go from there. Might do a bit more skilling, very close to a mining level, so... Uh, might go back to Motherload Mine for a bit in the next episode and uh, start making some progress towards those base 90 stats. Um, so hopefully see you then. Take care.